morning, brothers and sisters. Welcome to our celebration of the Eucharist. Today is Wednesday of the 23rd week in Ordinary Time, Feast of St. Peter Claver Priest. Our Mass Presider is Reverend Father Sandy and Highness, our Parish Priest. Your priest, O Lord, shall be clothed with justice. Your holy ones shall ring out their joy. In the name of the Father, and of the Son, and of the Holy Spirit. Amen. The grace of our Lord Jesus Christ, and the love of God, and the communion of the Holy Spirit be with you all. And with your spirit. Brothers and sisters, let us acknowledge our sins and so prepare ourselves to celebrate the sacred mysteries. Together, I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do, through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore, I ask Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Lord, have mercy. Lord, have mercy. Christ have mercy. Christ have mercy. Lord have mercy. Lord have mercy. Let us pray. O God, who made Saint Peter clever, a slave of slaves, and strengthened him with wonderful charity and patience as he came to their help, grant through his intercession that seeking the things of Jesus Christ, we may love our neighbor in deeds and in truth. Through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. A reading from the first letter of St. Paul to the Corinthians. Brothers and sisters, in regard to virgins, I have no commandment from the Lord, but I give my opinion as one who by the Lord's mercy is trustworthy. So this is what I think best because of the present distress that it is a good thing for a person to remain as he is. Are you bound to a wife? Do not seek a separation. Are you free of a wife? Then do not look for a wife. If you marry, however, you do not sin, nor does an unmarried woman sin if she marries. But such people will experience affliction in their earthly life, and I would like to spare you that. I tell you, brothers, the time is running out. From now on, let those having wives act as not having them, those weeping as not weeping, those rejoicing as not rejoicing, those buying as not owning, those using the world as not using it fully, for the world in its present form is passing away. The word of the Lord. Thanks be to God. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Hear, O daughter, and see, turn your ear. Forget your people and your father's house. 
so shall the king desire your beauty, for he is your Lord, and you must worship him. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. O glorious is the king's daughter as she enters. Her raiment is threaded with span gold. In embroidered apparel she is borne to the king. Behind her, the virgins of her train are brought to you. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. They are borne in with gladness and joy. They enter the palace of the king, the place of your fathers your sons shall have. You shall make them princes through all the land. Listen to me, daughter, see and bend your ear. Alleluia. Alleluia. Rejoice and leap for joy. Your reward will be great in heaven. Alleluia. Alleluia. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to Luke. Glory to you, O Lord. Raising his eyes toward his disciples, Jesus said, Blessed are you who are poor, for the kingdom of God is yours. Blessed are you who are now hungry, for you will be satisfied. Blessed are you who are now weeping, for you will laugh. Blessed are you when people hate you, and when they exclude you, and insult you, and denounce your name as evil, on account of the Son of Man. Rejoice and leap for joy on that day. Behold, your reward will be great in heaven. For their ancestors treated the prophets in the same way. But woe to you who are rich! For you have received your consolation. But woe to you who are filled now, for you will be hungry. Woe to you who laugh now, for you will grieve and weep. Woe to you when all speak well of you, for their ancestors treated the false prophets in this way. The Gospel of the Lord. Praise to you, Lord Jesus Christ. Good morning. During the um, promulgation of the uh, uh, precepts, articles of uh, the Second Plenary Council of the Philippines, the main uh, thrust that uh, was promoted was the preferential option for the poor. Uh, we were seminarians then, and uh, I remember we had uh, so many discussions of all those articles that were uh, contain that are contained in that in the documents that were released no, after the uh, the sessions. No? Uh, one issue that was. Uh, uh, discussed very often in the seminary was that thrust, no? preferential option of the of the poor. Ang isang uh, uh, issue na lumalabas. E paano yun? Uh, preferential option option for the poor. So the church should really do a lot of things for the poor. Uh, e anak din naman ng Dios ang mayayaman. So what will you do no, sa mga mayayaman, sa mga may kaya? So ang sinasabi, uh, siyempre, may kanya-kanya tayong uh, apostolado. Pero sa mga gawain, kinakailangan kung mayroon kang pagpipilian, ang iyong mga pagkilos, kinakailangan, would really benefit the poor most. Bakit? Kasi... Maging sa ating ebanghelyo, kita naman natin, ang pagkilos ng Panginoon, palaging ganun ang uh, mararamdaman mo. 
that if Jesus would have his uh, bias in favor of a group of people, it would always be for, for the poor, it would always be on the side of the hungry, it would always be in the side of those who are neglected, those who are um, placed on the sidelines. Doon sa mga inihihiwalay ng lipunan, sa mga nakabukod, sa mga hindi isinasali, sa mga busabos, sa mga taong labas. You will really feel that whenever Jesus would give His teaching, He would always side with those people, no? yung mga nahihiwalay sa lipunan. So we will not neglect or disregard the needs of those who are always full, those who are not weeping, those who are privileged, those who are rich. But if given the option, you would always, if you will have your bias, it would always be on the side of the poor and the neglected. Nang ibigay ng Panginoon ang mga mapapalad at particular dito sa version ni Luke no? so we have another set of uh, Beatitudes and that can be found in the Gospel of Matthew no? yun ang ilang mga diwa na ating makikita bagamat may mga pangako no? may mga promise na binibigay no? when you are poor you will have the kingdom of God when you are hungry, you will be satisfied. When you are weeping, you will laugh. When people hate you, when people persecute you, uh, you will have, we will experience joy uh, on that day. Dahil kayo ay nakadanas nito sa ngalan ng anak ng tao. Bagamat mayroong mga pahayag na pangako, Ang dapat daw nating makita sa mga mapapalad ay ito ay pagpapakita ng Panginoon ng kanyang preference. Pagpapakita ng Panginoon ng kanyang bias in favor of this group of people. He is expressing how he would side always with his people, with the neglected ones, no? with the poor. So sa kanyang pagpapahayag na ito, Ganon din yung kanyang hamon na ibinibigay no, sa atin. That if, if we are, if we, since we know that Jesus sides with His people, then we too, as His followers, should always side with these people whom Jesus regards highly. Sila na inahangad ng Panginoon na mabigyan ng kanilang karapat-dapat na matanggap, hindi lamang sa mundong ito, kundi maging sa kabila. Sa pagpapahayag ng Panginoon ng mga mapapalad, ito ay nagpapahayag ng kanyang hamon para sa ating tumatanggap ng aral. Paano natin ginagawang tunay na mapalad ang mga dukha, ang mga nagugutom, ang mga nahahapis, at tumatanggap ng pag-uusi. So this is not just a statement that was given by our Lord for us to rejoice about, but this is a statement given by our Lord as a challenge for us upang tayo maging kawangis ng Panginoon in siding with these people, in doing something for these people, in making this reality of blessedness no, true to these people. Ganun yung diwa na pinapahayag sa original na salita na ginamit ng Panginoon dito sa mampapalad. No? In studying the word makarios, no, sabi daw doon, it is not simply a kind of blessedness that this group of people will receive in the life that is to come. In that place that Jesus has set for us, has prepared for us. When Jesus used that word, no, makarios, blessed, He is defining the kind of life, the state of life 
that these people should experience now, ngayon, sa mundong ito, at hindi lamang sa kabila. Kaya nga, ganun ang hamon, when Jesus professed all this blessedness that is supposed to be for the poor, the hungry, the weeping, and the persecuted, tayo rin ay hinahamon na gawing realidad ito ngayon para sa mga kapatid nating dukha, nagugutom, nagdadalamhati, at inuusi. Hingi natin sa Diyos ang biyaya na ating kinakailangan upang ang pahayag ng Panginoon ay tunay na maging kaganapan sa kasalukuyan. Let us now stand and present to God our petitions. Rich and poor alike, God calls us together as sons and daughters of the kingdom. Let us pray to our Father with sincere hearts and say, God of blessings, turn to us. God of blessings, turn to us. That under persecution, the church may hold fast to the faith and bring people together. Let us pray to the Lord. God of blessings, turn to us. That the poor and hungry may receive their fill through the sincere efforts of our leaders. Let us pray to the Lord. God of blessings, turn to us. That believers who are hated, insulted, rejected, and abused may rejoice in the comfort of the kingdom awaiting them. Let us pray to the Lord. God of blessings, turn to us. That the sick and the elderly may feel secure by our love and care for them. Let us pray to the Lord. God of blessings, turn to us. That the faithful departed may obtain the Lord's mercy through the help of our prayers. Let us pray to the Lord. God of blessings, turn to us. Almighty God, hear our petitions. Let our lives proclaim the happiness to which you call us, for you are our Lord now and forever. Amen. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this bread we offer you. Fruit of the earth and work of human hands, it will become for us the bread of life. Blessed be God forever. Blessed are you, Lord God of all creation, for through your goodness we have received this wine we offer you. Fruit of the vine and work of human hands, it will become our spiritual drink. Blessed be God forever. Pray, sisters and brothers, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of His name, for our good and the good of all His holy Church. O God, who give us the gift of true prayer and of peace, graciously grant that through this offering we may do fitting homage to your divine majesty, and by partaking of the sacred mystery, we may be faithfully united in mind and heart through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just, our duty and our salvation, 
always and everywhere to give you thanks, Lord, Holy Father, Almighty and Eternal God, for in goodness you created man, and when he was justly condemned, in mercy you redeemed him through Christ our Lord. Through him the angels praise your majesty, dominions adore, and powers tremble before you. Heaven and the virtues of heaven and the blessed seraphim worship together with exaltation. May our voices, we pray, join with theirs in humble praise as we acclaim. Holy, holy, holy Lord God of hosts, heaven and earth are full of your glory. Hosanna in the highest. Blessed is he who comes in the name of the Lord. Hosanna in the highest. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the fount of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and, giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice, and once more, giving thanks, he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many, for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you have held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, Francis, our Bishop, Noli, our Auxiliary Bishop, Gabriel, our Bishop Emeritus, and all the clergy. Remember our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed Apostles, San Pedro Calungsod, Padre Pio, Saint Peter Claver, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co-heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through Him and with Him and in Him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, O glory and honor is yours forever and ever. Amen. With longing for the coming of God's kingdom, let us call to the Father using the words our Savior gave us. Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not into temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil, 
graciously grant peace in our days, that by the help of your mercy we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Savior, Jesus the Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church, and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will, who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God. Behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called to the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof, but only say the word, and my soul shall be healed. the body of Christ. Amen. Blessed is the servant whom the Lord finds watching when he comes. Amen, I say to you, he will put that servant in charge of all his property.
Let us pray. Grant that your faithful, O Lord, whom you nourish and endow with life, through the food of your word and heavenly sacrament, may so benefit from your beloved Son's great gifts, that we may merit an eternal share in his life, who lives and reigns forever and ever. Amen. Let us pray the Oratio Imperata for COVID-19. God our Father, we come to you in our need to ask your protection against COVID-19 that has disturbed and even claimed lives. We pray that you guide the people tasked to find cures for this disease and to stem its transmission. Protect the medical experts that they may minister to the sick with competence and compassion. We pray for those afflicted, may they be restored to health soon. Protect those who care for them, grant eternal rest to those who have died. Give us the grace in this trying time to work for the good of all and to help those in need. We implore you to stop the spread of this virus and to save us from our fears. Grant all these through our Lord Jesus Christ, your Son, who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit, one God forever and ever. Amen. We fly to your protection, O Holy Mother of God. Do not despise our petition in our necessities, but deliver us always from all dangers, O glorious and blessed Virgin. Amen. Amen. Our Lady, Health of the Sick, Pray for us. Saint Raphael the Archangel. Pray for us. Saint Rock. Pray for us. Saint Lorenzo Ruiz. Pray for us. Saint Pedro Calungsod. Pray for us. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now that they are parted. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of thy womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. Hail Mary, full of grace, the Lord is with you. Blessed are you among women, and blessed is the fruit of your womb, Jesus. Holy Mary, Mother of God, pray for us sinners, now and at the hour of our death. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the almighty and loving God bless you, the Father, the Son, the Holy Spirit. Amen. The Mass has been offered. Go in the peace and love of Christ. Thanks, Thanks be to God. Praise the Lord. Good morning.